Greetings and welcome to this week's Prime Insight. My name is Gavin Gooden, the marketing director here at Blast One. Today I want to deep dive into laser blasting techniques and specialties. We're going to cover off the strengths, the weaknesses, and give you some specific examples of where laser blasting is a great idea. Laser blasting, in a nutshell, is used for cleaning low grade and thin surfaces where it does not damage the surface like blasting does and it's used after fires to clean soot off surfaces. So the strengths for laser blasting is when you're dealing with lightly rusted or thinly coated surfaces. A great example of this is competency on thin, thin aluminum in the aerospace parts industry. They frequently use this technology because it cleans very fast and efficiently due to that laser transferring the energy onto the surface. Fire damage, laser blasting is mainly used for cleaning. One of its main applications is to remove the soot after a fire without damaging any stone. Alternative techniques such as bicarbon sponge can be used, but they cannot compete with the true effectiveness of laser blasting. Even though laser blasting may take longer due to its precision, it always flawlessly succeeds with no damage to those substrates. So a prime example of this we need to clean while preserving the underlying surface is the 2019 Notre Dame Cathedral fire. With the amount of damage done to these famous religious icons, laser blasting would be the perfect tool to clean up those irreplaceable relics. Another successful laser blasting scenario is the train stations in Washington DC. The subway tiles there were polluted with soot and the authorities don't want any contaminants or any abrasives falling into the tracks. So traditional abrasive blasting methods won't work here. Laser blasting will allow the soot to be burnt off with any of the resulting fumes simply removed through an extraction process. The weakness of laser blasting, it's more, it's more for cleaning than for actual heavy duty corrosion removal because it simply doesn't provide the pressure and the power needed to clean heavily corroded surfaces. If you've tried to remove thick paint you probably start a fire because the laser is not going to be able to penetrate through the material. It's likely to either burn or ignite the paint, resulting in a fire. Another problem often occurs when you're trying to use laser to when you're using trying to remove toxic contaminants. Lasers, like it's namely like releasing a lethal gas. Even if they're collected in dust collect, the dust is still going to be lethal and it must be disposed of properly. Lasers not ma magical and you can't just make materials disintegrate to nothing, it turns it into smoke. And therefore it doesn't work for thicker materials, you must burn through the materials and the results, you can get toxic fumes. Finally, laser blasting doesn't provide surface profile. And that can cause problems, as we know, if the project requires repainting. So there you have it. And again, this is a quick summary of the applications that are ideal for laser blasting. For all the scenarios, we recommend traditional methods. Thanks for watching this week's Prime Insight. We'll see you next week.